Fallout 76 is Captain Goose. Space Goose. Raider Reviews. Raiders from Spain. And up Sunday. I like Reviews. Waiting for you. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Ah, welcome, welcome, welcome. A little late to stand up Sundays. Yeah, every Sunday. Make the captain laugh every Sunday. We apologize for the delay, all of our interdimensional lurkers, and everyone else tuning in. Little technical difficulty there with Twitch, but not to worry, Twitch is back online. Yeah, live on Twitch, D. Live on Twitch, all of our interdimensional lurkers. Yeah, so come on by. First, you gotta find the ship in the wasteland on Xbox, then you gotta make it to the bridge. You make it to the bridge, and you've got two minutes or less to make the captain laugh. You make the captain laugh, and you're a winner! For Winner Mondays, every Monday. New Winner videos every Monday. On Space Raider Reviews, on YouTube. Go check us out right now. Do some interdimensional multitasking. Yeah, like and subscribe today. We need all the Space Raiders we can get, folks. The Zetans are coming back this winter. And they're coming back with a mothership and a death ray. And we need all the Space Raiders we can get if we're going to stand a chance of defeating them. So like and subscribe today. Space Raider Reviews, yeah. But come on by. Oh, we got somebody. We got somebody, D. Let me get out of my, uh, my ski pose here. And just to give you folks an idea, this is a little, uh, a little flashback to my, uh, the beginning of my Raider days, I guess you could say. I've been a Raider since the ski resort days. Who is Captain Ghoul? Space Raider Reviews. Go check it out now for the full story. Episodes 1 through 10 and episode 11 coming up this Tuesday for Tuesday Reviews Day. Yeah! New reviews every Tuesday. And of course, Fly Day Fridays. New ship and crew reviews every Friday. Yeah! But we're looking for comedians. And we just saw somebody, D. D, check the scanners, D. Let me get off my pose. There we go. All right. Go to my patchy cam. Yeah, I patchy cam. Let's say hello to the crew, though, real quick. Just in case that was a uh, customer, not a comedian. But hey, if you're a comedian, let me do a little scan here, D. Let me take a look. Are you a comedian? Do you have any jokes? We're looking for jokes is what I'm trying to say. So if you have some jokes, come back to the bridge and let me hear it. You got two minutes or less. Yeah. And if not, could you at least shut my door? Come on. It's kind of a pet peeve of the cat. It's all right. <sighs> I don't think they're going to shut my door, D. Whoa, that was a quick pan, D. Work on my patchy, uh, patchy cam pans. There we go. There we go. All right. Getting the door shut. We hop on uh, the Muzak here. Set the mood, folks. There we go. But anyways, back to the crew here. On my left, in the pink. Yeah, that's our Navbot. Just keeping us at a steady 85, about 90 feet right off the water. Pan down a little bit, though. Our location is a secret. That's part of the fun, folks. You gotta find the ship in the wasteland. Yeah. Lots of clues, though, in our ship and crew review videos. So go check it out now. Space Raider Reviews. Yeah, on YouTube. All right, we're selling it, D. We're selling it. This here, of course, is Commander D, who just walked up. She's the one that er, designed, there we go, D, sorry about that. Designed this fine ship here. This is hers, it's the D's Defender. I, she hates that name, I know, D, I'm sorry. But it really is, it's D's Defender. The Defender, okay, just the Defender, yeah. It's our last line of defense, folks, against the Zetans, who are coming back in the winter, if I hadn't mentioned it already. I'm gonna mention it a few times tonight, so just get ready, oh yeah. Yeah, she's D's very own design. A Zetan Junker class gunship, all her own. Oh, yeah. And to go with it, right behind Commander D there, is her very own fire control officer. A big baby dingus. Yeah, she calls him the big baby dingus. He's basically a Zetan super soldier of D's own design. You might notice his armor. That's Zetan bio armor. Same as the captain's. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, of course. I mean, come on. Look at him, right? He's a little bit bigger, but. To no avail. That's Big Baby Dingus there. Yeah. And behind me, folks, do a little panning here. A little slow panning with the drone cam. Yeah. All right. There we go. Big Baby Dingus. You're looking good, buddy. You're looking slick, slick. Yeah, I like that outfit. You did a good job with them, D. It's part of D's master plan, folks. The Big Baby Dinguses. The ship here can actually emit them. Can literally spawn them off the ship and on the ship. Just in case any Zetans show up. They're looking for a fight. Yeah, that's right, D. Whoa, where'd you go? D can teleport, folks. She likes to show off. It's not her fault. She's just a little rude. And she's just made that way. So don't blame her. 
Yeah, it's all of our interdimensional lurkers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. From all the 2,000 plus dimensions we're currently broadcasting to, we appreciate the lurk, and we appreciate the chill. Yeah, we're back on the Defender, folks, for the second official, second official Stand Up Sundays. Yeah, followed by Storm the Ship Sundays. Yeah, I was eating Mothership PvP training. Because first we laugh, folks, and then we train. So come on by, and let's see what you got. But anyways, on with the crew, the crew tour here, dude. Yeah, the crew tour. So behind me, and to my, uh, to my right, there we go. On the console there, little baby dinguses. You'll see these little baby dinguses around the ship. They're bas basically just like the big baby dinguses, in the sense that they're drones as well. Except they're little, little versions, right? They're not Zetan Super Soldier drones, folks. So they handle all the tasks that, you know, basically we don't want to do. But they enjoy it, and they love it, and we love them for it. That's right, little baby dinguses. We appreciate all the help. They also do all of our marketing and all of our videos on Space Raider Reviews on YouTube. So go check it out. Like and subscribe today. It's like I'm telling you, Z. Like I tell them, I tell them every week, D. The are coming back this winter, folks. And we need all the Space Raiders we can get to defeat them. So like and subscribe today and spread the word. So yeah. Fun. But we're looking for comedians first, folks. First we laugh and then we train. So come on by. Yeah. All right, D. Working on my pans again, D. There we go. Oh, revealing too much of the location, D. It's all right, folks. As soon as we get a comedian, we'll be back. And in the meantime, enjoy the view. Enjoy the chill. And any questions, let us know in the chat on Twitch. All right. What was that, D? Did you hear that? All right, folks, I think we might have an intruder already. Let me get off of this, uh, get off of this. Yeah, we're gonna go investigate, D. Supposed to be keeping a surprise, D, on the scanners. Come on, we talked about these scanners. Killing us, D. All right, I know I heard something, folks. Let's see if I can, uh, see if I can control the pans here. Hey, it's Collectron Bob. I don't think that was Collectron Bob, though. How's it going, Bob? Keep on collecting. Yeah, oh, there we go, folks, there we go. Look at this guy. Turn on some lights here. All right. What's going on, buddy? Liking that, uh, that backwards base, yeah, baseball hat. There we go. <laughs> what about that backpack, though? I've seen that backpack before. There's a gentleman here last, uh, last Sunday, folks. Same backpack. Different hat, though. I believe he had a paperboy hat last Sunday. Uh, it looked a little bit different, too. I don't know. Where'd you get that backpack from, huh? You didn't happen to take it from that gentleman, did you? You don't happen to have a paperboy hat on you too, by chance, do ya? I'm just asking for a friend. Come on. All right, D. Keep the scanners on this one. I don't know. Look at those. He's wearing shades inside, D. You never really trust them when they're... Look at those shades. I don't know. I don't trust them, D. Yeah, I don't trust them. What's going on, buddy? What are you, what are you doing here, huh? Uh, no. Nah. We're looking for junk, though. You got any junk you're not looking for anymore? Come on. What is that, the silent treatment? I'm not budging. I'm not giving you anything. I'm keeping an eye on you, too. And D! D, keep those scanners on him, D. Uh-huh. We'll keep on chatting. Stay as long as you like, though. All the welcome. Just a little... You're looking a little suspect to me with those shades on indoors. So we're going to keep an extra, an extra close eye on this one, D. Yeah, all right, folks. Well, so far, second stand-up Sunday in a row, folks. Keep an eye on them, though. We've got a visitor. He might be here for the duration. Whoa, there's that, there's that dango tube. That dango tube, I call it. Dangoos, yeah, those wild dangoos. Look at him. Looking creepy. Looking creepy, yeah. The wild dango, D, looking good. Oh, wild scorched. Looking nice and scorched. Yeah, look at those ultrasight, little ultrasight uh, crystals poking out, looking good, yeah. Except for being in the tube, of course, you know, it's kind of a bad look if you're the one in the tube. And let me tell you folks, spend some time in tubes if you want to know what I'm talking about. Who is Captain Ghoul? Parts 1 through 10, Space Raider Reviews, go check it out. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Ah, a little traumatizing, just looking at those tubes, D. You should be too. D and I are, uh... Yeah, we're all two buddies, let's just say. That's where we first met, in fact. Yeah, uh, I'm getting all nostalgic, D. I'm getting all nostalgic. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'm sorry. Anywho, 
All right, Big Baby Dingus. Let me go check check out Big Baby Dingus for a moment. How you doing, buddy? He's uh he's operating our shroom control. Keep an eye on those mycelium levels. How are those mycelium levels? I'm gonna check. Yeah, yeah, they look pretty good. They're pretty full. Keep them full. Those mycelium levels drop too low. Ah, the whole computer system goes haywire. Can't communicate anymore. Yeah, it's something like that. I don't know. I don't really understand it. Anyhow. Oh, whoa. What are you doing up here, man? Come on. I said you could hang out as long as you want, but, you know. If you're going to be on the bridge, at least take a seat. I got something for everyone, even you. Yeah? What do you got? Come on, lay it on me. You got some jokes? We're looking for jokes here. It's stand up Sundays, after all. We need some jokes. Your outfit's kind of funny. Those glasses are kind of funny. I don't know. Even that hat kind of looks like a pot. It doesn't really look like a hat. I don't, I don't know. Care to trade any? No. Don't care to trade any. I still don't trust you. Like I said, that backpack. Saw somebody with that backpack here last Sunday. I'm not saying you took it from him, but... I'm not saying you took it from him. More, more than likely. Come on, folks. It's the wasteland, after all. Care to deal? Yeah, it's a little dangerous. It's a little sketchy. It's mostly boring and dull, though. I mean, it is a wasteland, after all. But come on. That's why we're here. So we need some jokes. We need some jokes, sunglasses indoors. Do you have some jokes, sunglasses indoors? Come on. We don't want your junk or your overpriced wares. We're already selling our overpriced wares so we can afford more junk, all right? Like all of our ships, they're junker class Zetan ships. And it takes a lot of junk and thus a lot of caps to keep them afloat. So we appreciate it, sunglasses indoors, if you make a purchase of our overpriced wares. Come on. Support the Space Raiders today, folks. Yeah, any which way you can. We appreciate it. We're bringing the fight to the Zedans. We need all the Space Raiders we can get and all the support we can get to do it. They're coming back this winter, but they're going to be here sooner than you think. So we better start while we can. That's right, sunglasses indoors. You heard it here first. So spread the word. The Zedans are coming back this winter. We need all the help we can get. Space Raider Reviews, like and subscribe on YouTube, Sunglasses Indoors, yeah! If you think of any jokes, let us know. In the meantime, folks, that's enough ranting from the captain for a moment. You know what? Coming up here, we're gonna hop on the main. If we can, maybe not. Alright, we're coming over here, Dave. And we're hopping on this one. Alright, there we go. Get a little Muzak on, Sunglasses Indoors, enjoy. Stay as long as you like. Like I mentioned, you might want to take a seat, though. Appreciate it. You're blocking the view. Oh, speaking of which, I'm revealing too much. So we're going to rotate it. There we go. A view of uh, Big Baby Dingus there. And our little uh, Baby Dingus out on patrol, folks. You see him? He's just a little bit off the, uh, yeah, off the front of the ship there. Yeah. Going out on patrol. All right. So any questions, folks, hit us up in the chat on Twitch. And if not, enjoy the lurk. Enjoy the chill. And we'll be back as soon as we get a comedian. Hey. So bear with the captain. You know the captain's a little handicapped when it comes to drone cams, but I'm getting better. Come on, folks. You control them with your mind, and the captain's mind is a little scrambled from the Zetans, so. Alright, but that's a good that's a good look. That's revealing a bit much, but hey. Come on by. We're looking for jokes. We need some jokes, folks. Stand up Sundays. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And sunglasses indoors. We're keeping an eye on you. The only good one I got left. Yeah. All right, folks. We'll be back. All right, all right. To all of our interdimensional lurkers. Yeah. Nailed it, D. Nailed it. Inside, uh, inside joke deal with yeah, D and I, yeah. But yeah, we appreciate that lurk, and we appreciate that chill. Stand up Sundays, folks. Still waiting on comedians. Another slow night, unfortunately, D. I'm jinxing us right now, folks. I'm jinxing us officially. Yeah, it's gonna be a slow night, D. It's because, folks, a lot of folks out there in the wasteland, yeah, they're going for that grind, D. They're getting another cup of grind with their grind as they grind that never-ending grind, D. That's right, folks. Yeah, I'm talking about that scoreboard. 
That scoreboard that's brought to you by none other than the intergalactic, interdimensional mega corporation of this dimension. That's right, D. The Overlords. Oh, you're phasing in and out pretty quick. There we go, D. Yeah, there we go. All right. I'm talking about the Overlords of this dimension, folks. Affectionately known as Bug Fesda. Yeah. It's their scoreboard. It's their cosmic cosmetics you can win, in addition to utility items, and of course, a multitude of currencies, folks. So go get that grind on, because yeah, we hear it's, uh, what is it, D? It's double XP weekend, I believe. So yeah, it's probably where all the folks are at, folks. Just to let you know, in all those 2,000 plus dimensions we're currently broadcasting to, it might be another slow night. But not to worry, not to worry, folks. Because in between, hopefully in between all that grinding, we're gonna get some comedians. Yeah, we like to keep it positive here at the Space Raiders. We like to say, you're either laughing or crying in the wasteland. And we, we, uh, we prefer to laugh, folks. Yeah, we keep it positive here at the Space Raiders. So keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes on that scanner, D. I'm keeping my eyes on my own scanners. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully, folks, we'll have some comedians here sooner. Sooner rather than later. Yeah. Keep an eye out too there, big baby dingus. You're right up front, you got the best view. All right. All right, D. I'm gonna change up the view here. Actually, folks, get off the drone cam for a moment too. Whoa, close up a D. Watch out. All right, D, looking good, looking good, D. We're gonna come over here. See if we can get on this one. Can we do it? All right, there we go. All right, all right. View of all of us. Here we go. Big baby dingus. There you go. Quasi view of the door, folks. All right. Might, might adjust this in a little bit. For the moment, enjoy the close up. Extreme close up. Whoa. Big baby dingus there. But actually, you know what? Hold on. We're going to the drone camp. Drone camp. That's a little bit too close. All right. There we go. Keep an eye on the door, folks. Keep an eye on the door. We're looking for comedians after all. All right. Review the cannon there too. Good, good views. All right. Any questions? Hit us up in the chat on Twitch. And keep those fingers crossed. And we'll be back. And all right, all of our interdimensional lurkers. We got a nuke inbound, folks. Yeah, wouldn't be the wasteland, folks, without at least one nuke inbound per hour. If not multiple. All right, let me check. Uh, let me check my own scanners. Typical. Going after the Scorch Beast Queen, there, big baby dingus. Not to worry. Not to worry. We're in the clear, folks. The defender is in the clear. All right. Let's see if I can work on these drone skills here, big baby dingus. I don't know, but my uh, my drone camera skills might be getting worse, folks. It's entirely possible. We're working on it though. We're trying to get a good angle here. Can I get a good angle for you? And how about that? Kind of keep an eye on the water, too. A lot of folks show up in the water. So just in case, keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the door. Keeping an eye on the bridge. All right. Any questions to all of our interdimensional lurkers? We're appreciating that lurk. We're appreciating that chin. And of course, any questions at all, don't hesitate. Chat on Twitch. And let the captain know. I'll get right to you. In the meantime, folks, keep enjoying this music. Keep those fingers crossed and stay positive. And hopefully, hopefully sometime soon, we're going to get an actual comedian. And then hopefully a winning joke. That'd be nice too. Don't get me wrong. All right. Sunglasses indoors. He's still here. I thought we had lost him, folks. Let me get off the drone cam for a moment. Just pan over if we can. There he is, all right. Sunglasses indoors. Welcome back. Although I don't think he ever left, D. But keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on those scanners. I don't know what he's up to, but look at that backpack, folks. There's a gentleman here last week, and uh, yeah, same backpack. Little baby dingus, you know what I'm talking about, little baby dingus. Little baby, big baby dingus. I'm sorry, big baby dingus. Big baby dingus here knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, big baby dingus. I didn't mean to offend, all right? Chill out, there we go, all right. But just keep an eye on him, guys. You too, little baby dingus is back there. Keep an eye on that guy. I don't know. I don't know, D. Let's go back to the uh, the drone camera, folks. Keep it positive, like he says. 
There you go, D. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. We're going to keep an eye on the water, too, folks. All right. There we go. Keep those fingers crossed. Hopefully. Hopefully, folks. We'll have a comedian soon. We had a winner. We had a winner last Sunday. And it was a good, uh, it was a good Sunday. The captain was not upset. It's always a good Sunday when the captain is not upset. So keep those fingers crossed. And we'll be back. Hopefully sooner rather than later. All right. All right, all right. All of our interdimensional lurkers. We're appreciating that lurk. We're appreciating that chill. Bringing the drone cam back in. She needs to charge up a bit. So yeah, we're bringing her back. Bring it back. Yeah, I'm gonna bring her in through the, uh, yeah, through the shroom control window. You know that shroom control needs that fresh air, folks. Yeah, big baby dingus, check those mycelium levels. I told you, keep an eye on those mycelium levels. All right. Here we go. Off this here. Sounds like we had a nuke, uh, nuke finalize, finalization. There we go. A nuke dropped is what I'm trying to say. I'll tell you what, folks. The door will open here. Oh, this door has been a little sketchy tonight, D. I want to get the little baby dinguses on the maintenance there, D. I don't know. Grease up those, uh... Yeah. Grease up those hinges. Yeah, it's a little slow these days. I don't know. Looking for... There he is. All right. Sunglasses indoors. Since you're still here. And since we have no comedians. Do you have any jokes? First of all, have you thought of any jokes? He's thinking about it, folks. He's thinking about it. Come on. You got a joke? Sunglasses indoors. Do you have a joke? I will take that dead stare into the distance as a no. All right. Another Zeton victim, folks. If you didn't know, I mention it every uh, every weekend. Oh, there we go. Another clear-cut sign as well. But yeah, when you meet somebody like this, folks, out in the wasteland, when, they, when it appears they've got only one or two lines, and they keep repeating themselves... Well, they keep doing the same repetitive, uh, yeah, repetitive behaviors over and over again. There you go. I think we've heard that line a few times, folks. Well, hey, that's the Zetons for you, all right? When they abduct you, they mess with your mind, and you get stuck. You get stuck in these repetitive patterns. You'd think, you'd think it was the overlords of this dimension somehow pulling the strings on these folks, but no, 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 no. And I'm not saying it's the Zetons, but I am saying it's the Zetons. What am I saying? It's the Zetons. Come on. It's a clear-cut sign that you're a Zeton abductee victim. And where'd he go? Sunglasses indoors. I was just about to check out his overpriced wares. And mix it up a bit. Let's see if he's on the bridge. He's not on the bridge, folks. I think we might have lost him. I think the captain might have blown it. Little baby dinguses. How we doing here? All right. If you didn't know, folks, this is our, uh, our Zeton Super Soldier Emitter System here. It's a little bit cruder than the Zeton System, but hey, this is, it's D's own design, okay? The way it works here, if you notice, you got all these, these tubes here with, with your basics. You got your basic Zeton Super Soldier right here. They look like they're from West Tech, and they look like a regular Super Mutant. And so what I'm saying, folks, is I'm not saying that West Tech is in line with the Zetons or anything like that, but, uh, you know, come on. West Tech is in line with the Zetons, all right? We'll get into it. Don't worry. It's all connected. Anywho, neither here nor there, because in our system here, folks, the way it works is simple. We phase in your basic Zeton super soldier, super mutant here to the outer tubes. We phase them tube to tube from outer to inner. Final tube being this one right here with the flashy light. And in this final tube, our little baby dingus here on the controls. Oh, Collectron Bob. Hi, buddy. I'll get out of your way. Don't worry, Bob. But yeah, our, uh, our little, uh, little baby dingus here on the controls in the final tube here. And each tube along the way, our Zetan Super Soldiers pick up a little bit more programming for whatever their particular mission is. Oh, look up here. And in this final tube, folks... That's where our little baby dinguses apply the Zetan bio armor. Same as I'm wearing, just a little bit bigger. And of course, they're battle helmets. And in this final tube here with the flashy light, the flashy light is key, folks. All right, if it doesn't have a flashy light, it is not a Zetan super soldier emitter. All right, and by emitter, I mean that it can literally spawn 
are custom made Zetan super soldiers. Anywhere around the ship and outside of the ship or on the ship, within a certain, uh, you know, a certain distance. We're not going to get into it. We don't want to give everything away to the Zetans. We're pretty sure they're watching. But anywho, yeah. We hope they're watching, folks, because we're bragging. The system works, all right? You've seen Big Baby Dingus on the bridge? This is what he looks like underneath. So this is the final stage. And once he's all armored up, then yeah, we can spawn him anywhere we need him. Anywhere the Zetan threat presents itself. So there you go, folks. Every Zetan ship has a similar system. And yeah, they spawn Zetan super soldiers, either outside of the ship or on the ship as needed. Except they're what you might call the Flatwoods Monsters. If you've seen the Flatwoods Monsters out in the wasteland, folks, those are Zetan super soldiers. If you want to know more, who is Captain Ghoul? You'll learn all about it. They got jets instead of legs. The captain was part of all that. He was mixed up in all that for a little bit. Let me just tell you. Latest episode, who is Captain Ghoul? You'll definitely learn all about it. All right? Anywho, though. Continuing on. Where is Sunglasses inside? Did we lose him? I think we lost him, folks. All right, Bob. This is Collectron Bob, of course. Yeah, you're looking good, Bob. In his full Raider regalia. Yeah, I got the chains, you got the spikes, Bob. You got the barbed wire, you're looking good. You got the jokes. It's the most important part. Most important part there, folks. You gotta have the jokes. If you're gonna be a Raider Collectron, you gotta have jokes. Because Raiders always got jokes, little baby dinguses. That's what I'm saying. Little baby dingus is here. A set or a pair, if you will, in every wing, folks. Yeah, because check it out. Yeah, we got the duelies. Duel. Tri-barrel Zetan phaser miniguns, folks, on each wing. Yeah, we got two, uh, yeah, we got two little baby dinguses in the fire control. This little baby dingus handling the targeting. This little baby dingusin. Little dingusin. <laughs> little baby dingus. There we go, D. Losing it, D. This little baby dingus handles the firing. Obviously. He's got, uh, he's got the cannons there. He's got the guns. All right. But anywho, we're looking for, uh, sunglasses inside. Is he still here? Nope. He is not. All right. Well, we blew that one, D. I was going to check out his inventory and see what he had for sale. Maybe even buy some of his overpriced wares. You never know. But instead, we're going to hop back on this... this there we go. Get some Muzak going. And we're going to recross the fingers, folks. Because no comedians yet. It's been quite the slow stand-up Sunday so far, D, let me tell you. I think everybody out there is just getting the grind on, taking advantage of that double XP grind. Yeah, I don't blame them, D. But hopefully, hopefully in between the grind, they'll stop by and see the captain. So keep your fingers crossed to all of our interdimensional lurkers, and we'll be back just as soon as we, as soon as we get a comedian. Keep an eye on the scanners, D. I'm keeping an eye on my scanners. All right. All right, to all of our interdimensional lurkers, we appreciate that lurk, and we appreciate that chill as usual. Well, folks, we are just about halfway through. We're halfway through, D, the stand-up Sundays. And, of course, Storm the Ship Sundays is coming up. Unfortunately, the captain is getting upset, folks. We haven't had a single comedian yet, D. Keep an eye on those scanners. I appreciate it, D. I've been keeping an eye on my scanners, too. And nothing so far, folks. I think everybody is just out there getting that grind on. That never-ending grind, D, that we're always talking about. And good to them. It's double XP weekend we here. So, yeah, get your grind on. You saw that ski pose in the beginning, folks. Yeah, take me back to my ski resort days, D. Yeah, well, that ski pose, folks. That's one of those cosmic cosmetics you can get with that grind. So go on, get some more grind along with your grind as you grind that never-ending grind. Yeah! Get out there. And in between, come on by and bring some jokes. Because we're trying to laugh here, all right? We're trying to laugh at more than sunglasses inside, D. It's the only one we've had so far. I mean, we had somebody in the beginning, but they didn't even shop. They just kind of walked around and then disappeared. So what are you going to do? Sunglasses inside. He's the only one we've had so far. And then he disappeared on us, too. I tell you, D. What are you gonna do? 
And now look at this, folks. It's raining inside. I don't know if you can see this, but it's literally raining inside. Let me, uh, let me pan the drone camera here a little bit, D. I mean, look at this. Come on. Only in the wasteland, folks. When you're in a fully enclosed and encapsulated interdimensional Zeton Junker class gunship. Yeah, only in the wasteland does the rain get through. Well, what can you do, D? What can you do? I tell you. All right, folks. Well, if you haven't heard, since we got some time to kill, we might as well mention it, D. A lot of changes are coming to the wasteland, folks. And if you're curious, and if you have access, it's happening actually right now, D. You can get a preview in the PC PTS dimension, folks. That's right. That's right. Crack those knuckles, D. There you go. The PC PTS dimension. That's where all the, uh, the new changes, D. They're currently being tested. So if you have access, folks, go check it out. To give you an idea, though, and this is a big one, D. Apparently, you know those guys down at Fort Atlas. You know what I'm talking about, D? All of our interdimensional lurkers, you know what I'm talking about? They're known as the, uh, yeah, the Brotherhood of Incompetence. You know, the A-Holes of Steel. Well, apparently, they're getting their act together. And they're finishing the grandiose quest in the wasteland. The captain is keeping his fingers crossed, though. He's keeping his fingers crossed, D, that they actually will accomplish some long-lasting changes for the positive to the wasteland this time. Because, come on, let's be real. The dailies aren't exactly accomplishing anything, are they? No, they're just dailies on the daily, on the never-ending daily. Yeah, never accomplishing anything. In fact, now we got new dailies to go along with the old dailies because they can never even accomplish the old dailies. I've got into it before, D. I'm not going to get into it again. It's a long-winded rant, I know. But come on. Brotherhood of A-Holes and Incompetence of Steel of a deserted folks. Let's just cross our fingers and stay positive and hope that this time, whatever their conclusion may be, D, that it has a lasting change and positive impact on the wasteland. And quite frankly, folks, it lasts more than three hours, all right? More than three hours worth of missions. Oh, it would be nice, D. Come on. Yeah, it would be real nice. Ah, anyways, I digress, D. I digress. All right? And, uh, yeah, folks, lots of changes coming to the wasteland, all right? Got a new currency on the way. Legendary power armor cores. Got legendary crafting, legendary power armor, and legendary power armor crafting. So lots of changes. We got new legendary effects. We got old legendary effects coming out of the shadows, namely Nocturnal. <coughs> Name drop. And uh, yeah, so a lot of changes, D. A lot of changes coming to the wasteland, folks. If you weren't aware, and if you've got access, the PC PTS dimension right now is the way to go. It's the way to test it. And definitely, folks, if you're gonna test it, provide feedback. And constructive criticism, please, to those overlords of this dimension, affectionately known as Bug Fester. Because they need all the help they can get, folks. So let's give it to them, all right? That's all I'm saying, D. That's all I'm saying. You're doing a lot of phasing tonight, D. A lot of phasing in and out. You're showing off, folks. And I apologize. She's a little rude like that. It's not her fault. She's just made that way. All right. So that's enough ranting, D. Keep an eye on your scanners. I'm keeping an eye on my scanners. Hopefully, folks, before the hour is out, we'll actually have a comedian and we'll have a winning joke and the captain won't be upset. Keep him crossed. Just keep it positive. And we'll be back. Interdimensional lurkers, yeah, nailed it, D, nailed it. We appreciate the lurk, and we appreciate the chill. Unfortunately, D, no comedians yet, and we are almost at, yep, 30 minutes to go. Oh, it's been a slow night, D. It's been a rough night, 
We've only had sunglasses indoors. Stop by. And only to sell his overpriced wares. I tell you, no jokes, folks. No jokes at all. No worries. The very least, D, we're going to do a little public service announcement here, folks. Because, yep, like I mentioned, a lot of changes coming to the wasteland. If you've got access, the PC PTS Dimension in the wasteland, folks, is where you want to go. That's right, the PC PTS Dimension. Head there now. Check out these new changes coming up to the wasteland. You can test them out for the overlord of the wasteland, Bug Fezda. Just be sure to leave some, some good criticism, Z. Yeah, some constructive criticism, as we like to say. Help them out. Help make the wasteland better. Help improve it. That's what they're trying to do, folks. Yeah. The big baby dingus over there. On the shroom control, check those mycelium levels. I told you, they're dropping a little bit. Just keep an eye on them, all right? But yeah, big baby dingus. A lot of changes coming to the wasteland, folks. One of them. All right. One of them being tested right now in that PC PTS Dimension D. Is of course the legendary power armor and legendary crafting in general, folks. And let me just tell you, we're gonna get into it right now. All right. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert to all of our interdimensional lurkers. Here we go. Here's how it works. If you want to craft your very own legendary armor, weapons, or even power armor, D. Yeah, up to three star power armor. Here's how it works. You gotta have these legendary power cores. That's right, folks. A brand new currency coming to the wasteland. The way you're going to get them is through public events, all right, seasonal events, and, of course, everybody's favorite daily event. Excuse me, daily ops. There we go. Daily ops, D. All right. The problem, folks, is the way these power cores work and the way this legendary crafting works is you need the appropriate legendary power core with the appropriate number of stars that relates to what you're trying to craft. So in other words, D, to all of our inter interdimensional lurkers there, that wasn't confusing enough. All right, if you want to craft a three-star legendary weapon armor or power armor, you need a corresponding three-star, yes, legendary power core. The problem is you get these from, like I said, events, Public events, seasonal events, and dailies. Daily ops, alright? But it's random. It's completely random. So if you want to actually craft a three-star anything, you've got to get lucky in one of these and get a three-star legendary power core. We don't know what the odds are, you know, as far as what you're going to get when you do these events. But just, uh, yeah. Count on it being low, folks. We like to stay here at the Space Raiders. What you want to do in the wasteland is simple. Just in general, lower your expectations, all right? If you lower your expectations, folks, you'll never be disappointed. Because whatever happens in the wasteland, if your expectations are lowered, then when something happens, it's always for the positive. Because it's always better than what you thought. Yeah, that's how we do it, D. That's how we keep it positive. Lowered expectations, little baby dingus. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So in this case, folks, a lot of folks currently in the PTS PC, or I should say, yeah, PC, PTS Dimension, there we go, D, are a little disappointed because their expectations were too high. But we here at the Space Raiders, we keep those expectations low. And so, yeah, we are pleasantly surprised. What we're pleasantly surprised to find is that it's actually more advantageous to save your script and spend it with Murph on a random legendary piece of armor, weaponry, or even legendary power armor. Because let me tell you folks, not only do you have to get the appropriate starred legendary power core, which is random, all right, but then you're going to need vault steel, you're going to need legendary modules, and you're going to need junk just to produce what is probably going to be a hunter's nocturnal whatever, all right, not what you want, in other words. All right, you gotta spend a lot of currencies to get something you don't want. What I'm recommending you do, and what Murph is gonna be offering as well, all right, is you go buy Murph, and as long as you got the script, you don't have to, you don't have to spend any junk, you don't have to spend any legendary modules, and you don't have to worry about any legendary power cores. Wow, D, you're getting crazy there, D. Settle it down. 
And instead, you just spend a little bit extra script. I believe it's 120 script, for example, for a three-star random legendary power armor piece. And there you go. All you need is script, folks. You don't have to worry about getting more grind on with your grind on that never-ending grind just to get all these legendary power cores and then throw the dice again and spend even more only to get something you don't want. You'll probably get something you don't want anyways from Murph, don't get me wrong, but at least spending script, you're not going to be losing as much. So that's the captain's advice, folks. It's probably going to be a review, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but uh, just so you know, yeah, when it comes to crafting legendaries and legendary power armor, <clears throat> it's more advantageous. There we go. It's ghoulish lungs, folks. Give me a little trouble tonight. It's more advantageous, more cost-effective, they just spend the script with Murph. Because to give you an example, camera's getting a little nauseating there, D. You pull up a personal example of the pit boy here. All right, go over to some uh, some of our Zeton weapons. Here we go. We got the Zeton Legacy Burner, for example. All right, so here we go, folks. Here's my example. The Zeton Legacy Burner, she's a three star. Her bullets explode for area damage. She shoots an additional projectile, so she's a two shot explosive. And she's got one for perception. So let's say the captain here, the captain is getting a little greedy. And he wants to replace that plus one with perception with reduced weight. All right. The reason people are so disappointed in the wasteland right now, all right, with the new system, is it was expected that you would be able to target the third star and just apply the three star legendary core and the rest of those currencies to that third star and just re-roll that third star as many times as it takes to get what you want, like reduced weight in this example. The problem is, and in reality, in the PTS or PC PTS dimension, the way it works is, if the captain wanted to replace that plus one perception, he would need a three star legendary core on top of the legendary steel, the legendary module, and all the junk to make the weapon to begin with, and then he would not be able to re-roll just the plus one perception. In other words, you can't re-roll any individual star. If you have a three star like this, and you want to get a better third star, if you want to get a better second star, if you want to get a better first star, you have to re-roll all the stars. That's right. It's a crapshoot every time. And guess what? I can guarantee you, if the captain tried to re-roll this godly legacy Zeton roll, he would never get anything like this, folks. All right? Never. He would get a hunter's something hunters. Just mostly hunters. It would probably be like a three-star hunters, hunters, hunters. All right? That's all I'm saying. It's never for the better. It's always for the worse. Lower your expectations, folks. Yeah, Space Raiders. Anyways, though, look at this paint job. Yeah, if you're liking this paint job. Usually has flames coming out of the eyes, coming out of the mouth. Kicks it up a notch. I'll show you another, uh, another perspective here in a moment, folks. But if you like this paint job, we'll get that grind on. Get a little bit more grind with your grind as you grind that never-ending grind. Because you guessed it, folks. This is... In the captain's opinion, one of the best rewards from this season. Yeah! Oh, we got somebody. Hold on, D. Welcome, welcome to Stand Up Sundays. Every Sunday. Make the captain laugh every Sunday. Do you have any jokes is what I'm trying to say. Look at you. Pointy nose. Pointy nose. Raven face. Is that the raven face, D? I, I forget. I for the, the captain is forgetting here, folks. I think that's a raven face. But yes, he's matching it. He's got the Captain Cosmos outfit with the raven face. Man, that looks good. I don't know about that croc backpack, but the rest of it looks pretty good. I'm digging that orange. I'm digging those stripes. So come on, Cosmos raven face. Do you have any jokes, Cosmos raven face? Dig us some jokes for the Captain Cosmos raven face. It's stand-up Sundays, and we need jokes. All right? So dig us some jokes, Cosmos raven face. And in the meantime, enjoy this music. And if you don't have any jokes, Cosmos Ravenface, then guess what? 
The joke is on you, because you're live on Twitch. Yeah, we hope you're not camera shy. It's just funnier this way. Yeah, yeah. We hope you enjoy those overpriced wares as well. And please, buy something and donate to the Space Raiders. This is a Junker class Zetan ship after all. And it takes a lot of junk and thus a lot of caps to keep her afloat. So come on, buy some of our overpriced wares. Our prices are out of this world. They're in a galactic planetary. Yeah, Captain Cosmo's raven face. Yeah, we're Space Raiders. It goes along with the theme. There you go, Captain Cosmos Raider face. Oh wait, Captain Cosmos Raven face. There it is. Do you have any jokes? That's what I'm trying to say. Do you have any jokes for the captain? Stand up Sundays, we're looking for jokes. If you got jokes, you got two minutes or less to make me laugh. Make me laugh and you're a winner for Winner Mondays. Oh, we got somebody with jets. What's up, Jetty person? Jetty backpack person. Do you have any jokes for the captain? Who's got some jokes? Come on! Any jokes? D! Are you picking up any jokes on the scanners, D? Any jokes? Captain Cosmos, Raven Face! Do you have any jokes? I think they're out of here, D. I think they're traveling. The ghost in us, D. The ghost in us. That's just a ghost body right there. Captain Cosmos, Raven Face! Oh! Oh! We got somebody new! What's up? Yeah! Harry Camo person. Hello, Harry Camo person. Do you have any jokes for the captain? This is Stand Up Sundays, after all. We're looking for jokes here. You got two minutes or less to make the captain laugh if you got some jokes. That's Big Baby Dingus there on fire control. Yeah, on shroom duty. Big Baby Dingus, check those mycelium levels. I told you about those mycelium levels, Big Baby Dingus. Check them. Check them again. D. Scanners D. Keep an eye on those scanners. All right, all right, Mr. Harry, Mr. Harry Backpack, Harry Person. Mr. Harry Backpack, Harry Person, do you have any jokes? Are you just going to shop our overpriced wares? If you're just going to shop our overpriced wares, we appreciate it. Our prices are out of this world. They're intergalactic and planetary. It goes along with the Space Raider theme. Space Raider reviews on YouTube. Spread the word. The Zetans are coming back this winter. We need all the Space Raiders we can get to defeat them. So tell everyone you know, Harry Backpack, Harry Person, you're looking Harry. Yeah, come on, we need some jokes. You got jokes? Think about it. Think about it. Come on. Nobody's shutting my door, dude. Captain is getting upset, dude. Harry Backpack, Harry Person, do you have any jokes? What are you underneath all that hair? Are you a person? Are you a ghoul? Are you a super mutant? What are you, a scorched? Who knows, D? Run the scanners on them, D. Let's see if we can determine what, what they are. You never know. You never know when they're wearing something that hairy. What could be under all, underneath all that hair, D? You never know. So come on, Harry Backpack, Harry Person. Do you have any jokes? We're looking for jokes. We've been waiting almost two hours for jokes, Harry Backpack, Harry Person. So come on, don't disappoint. At the very least, Buy some of our overpriced wares. Yeah! Because this is a Junker class Zetan gunship. And she takes a lot of junk and thus a lot of caps to keep her afloat. So we appreciate the donations. Space Raider Reviews on YouTube if you want to know more. Like and subscribe today. Zetans are on the way this winter. We need all the Space Raiders we can get to defeat them. Harry Backpack, Harry Person. Do you have any jokes, is what I'm trying to say. Do you have any jokes for the captain? If you have some jokes, you have two minutes or less to make me laugh. You make me laugh and you're a winner for Winner Monday videos. Every Monday. New winner videos every Monday. From Stand Up Sundays and Storm the Ship Sundays. Yeah. Space Writer Reviews on YouTube. Go like and subscribe right now. Get some interdimensional multitasking going there. Harry backpack, Harry person is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And give us some jokes. We need jokes. Do you have jokes? Where are your jokes? Jokes. Anyone? D, check those scanners. I'm checking my Xbox scanners, D. Let's see. Let's see if we got any jokes from Harry backpack, Harry person. 
no! I'm getting a no, dude. I'm getting a no on the scanners, dude. What are your scanners saying, dude? You got a no as well? All right. Big Baby Dingus! Check those mycelium levels, Big Baby Dingus. That's Big, Big Baby Dingus right behind you there. Hairy backpack, hairy person. He's running our shroom control. Checking those mycelium levels, making sure they're all appropriate. Yeah! You think of any jokes? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you can think of a joke. And send a chat request via Xbox. Yeah! Or type it out. Send a DM. Send the joke in a DM. We'll take it either way. At this point, we got less than 20 minutes, D. And we're looking for jokes here. Harry backpack, Harry person. All right. In the meantime, enjoy that music. And we'll be back. All right, D. No word on the Xbox scanners. He's still there. All right, Harry Backpack, Harry Person. Do you have a joke? Have you thought of a joke for the captain? We're looking for jokes here. This is Stand Up Sunday. It's every Sunday. Yeah, trying to make the captain laugh every Sunday. The way it works is simple. First, you got to find the bridge on the ship in the wasteland on Xbox. You need did all that. Hard parts out of the way. Now, you got to make the captain laugh. You got two minutes or less once you got a joke. To make the captain laugh. You make the captain laugh, and you're a winner! Harry Backpack, Harry Percy. Yeah, for Winner Mondays, every Monday. New Winner videos every Monday. From Stand Up Sundays and Storm the Ship Sundays. Cause that's right, Zeton Mothership PvP training is coming up right after Stand Up Sundays. I keep telling them, D, there's no better way to train for the Zetons coming back this winter. All right, the PvP one-on-one -on -one Space Raider training. I'm telling you, folks, the Zetans are smarter than any of, the, any of the other creatures in the Wasteland you've dealt with thus far, all right? So the only way to train for them is against someone equally as smart. And that would be another Space Raider trainee. That's right. It's the way it works is simple. Yeah, hairy backpack, hairy person. Once uh, Storm the Ship Sundays begins, you got to find the ship in the wasteland on Xbox, as usual. Then you gotta meet a fellow Space Raider trainee underneath the ship. You punch each other in the face to let the captain know you're ready. The captain sees it, and you got 30 seconds to get away from the ship and find cover. 30 seconds later, the captain says, begin. The first one to storm the ship and hold the bridge for two minutes wins. And then you're a winner for Winner Monday, every Monday. New winner videos every Monday, from Storm the Ship Sundays and Stand Up Sundays. Where'd you go, Harry Backpack, Harry Person? You didn't shut my door. You're making the captain upset. So here I go, D. Going to shut my door. Stay as long as you like, Harry Backpack, Harry Person. Just make sure you shut my door. Nothing irks the captain more, Big Baby Dingus. You know what I'm talking about, D. You definitely know what I'm talking about. All right. Get back on the theremin here. If I can, all right. Get our music on. Oh, get our light back on. We're going to the drone camera, folks. Trying to make some less nauseating camera moves. We're going to check out the ship for a moment, folks. See if anybody's on board. Oh, it's looking pretty clear. No one down in the water. No one down in the boat. All right. It's looking good. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> it's a little quick. All right. Well, unfortunately, folks, I think we scared away Harry Backpack, Harry Person. Wherever you went, Harry Backpack, Harry Person, have a good time out there in the wasteland. And get your grind on as you grind that grind on that never-ending grind. All right. When you want something to actually do, come back with some jokes, because that's what we're here to do. Yeah, we're bringing this something to do, folks. Just in case somebody wants something to do. <laughs> Which apparently they don't, D. So far they don't. But no worries, folks. Like I said, here at the Space Raiders, we like to keep it positive, and we like to lower our expectations. Because when you lower your expectations, whatever happens is always better than what you're expecting. Yes, it's always a good time, D. That's what I'm saying. All right. All of our interdimensional lurkers, we appreciate that lurk, we appreciate that chill, and we hope you enjoy the music, and the view, and we'll be back.
And we got, oh, less than 20 minutes to go. So keep those fingers crossed. All right. Interdimensional lurkers, we appreciate the lurk, we appreciate the chill. Unfortunately, unfortunately, D, the captain is upset. That's right, get off the drone camera. Big baby dingus, the captain is upset. We had no comedians, folks, and we had no jokes for Stand Up Sundays. But not to worry, because now, that's right, yeah, it's Storm the Ship Sundays, every Sunday. Yeah, first you gotta find the ship in the wasteland on Xbox. Then you gotta find a fellow Space Raider trainee underneath the ship. You punch each other in the face to let the captain know you're ready. And then you've got 30 seconds to find cover away from the ship. 30 seconds later, the captain says begin. First one to storm the ship and hold the bridge for two minutes wins. That's right, for Winner Mondays, every Monday. New Winner videos every Monday. From Storm the Ship Sundays and Stand Up Sundays, yeah! So come on by, folks, and let's see what you got. And Big Baby Dingus, you have the bridge. D, as well. I am out of here. We are headed to fire control, Big Baby Dingus. So keep an eye on those, uh, keep an eye on that shroom control. Keep an eye on that mycelium, those mycelium levels. All right, D, we're headed out. Make sure and shut the door. I'm the only one who can apparently shut the door. All right, D, we appreciate it. And next week, folks, we're back on the Liberator. That's right, for Stand Up Sundays, once again on the Liberator. All right, D, we'll see you there. We, uh, we had a good time, at the very least. Like I tell you, folks, there we go, door shut. In the wasteland, the only way to go, you got to lower your expectations. You lower your expectations, and then whatever happens, you're pleasantly surprised. Yeah! Have a good one, Collectron Bob. We're headed to fire control. All right. Little baby dinguses, how are we doing on fire control? Yeah, targeting, you're looking good. All right, targeting's got it. Got the boat, all right, the boat is clear. All right, we got the dually, tri-barrel, Zeton phaser miniguns. Yeah, little baby dingus, operating them here. All right. Looking good. Here's where we need to keep an eye on, folks. We're looking for two Space Raider trainees to show up in the boat. Here we go. All right. We got the drone camera outside of the ship. And we got a view of a little boat right there. All right. We got somebody on board. Are you here for the training? Are you here to train? If you are here for Storm the Ship Sundays, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up, pajama pants. Yeah, Pajama Pants Gas Mask. Are you here for the training, Pajama Pants Gas Mask? If you're here for the training, we need a thumbs up. And we also need another Space Raider trainee. Because it takes two to tango. We're back to the ski resort days, folks. Yeah, all right. Yep, just like in the beginning. All right, folks. So like I mentioned before, keep those fingers crossed. Lower your expectations, and you never know what'll happen in the wasteland. And it won't matter anyways. If your expectations are low enough, you'll always be pleasantly surprised. Yeah! So keep it positive, the Space Raider way, and lower those expectations today. Yeah! If you have any questions, hit us up in the chat on Twitch. And as soon as we get some Space Raider trainees in our little boat below, we'll be back. All right, hey, we got somebody, D. Yeah, who's down there? There's somebody down by the boat. Welcome, welcome to Storm the Ship Sundays. Every Sunday, yeah, Zeton, Mothership, PvP training. Are you here to train? If you're here to train, jump on the little boat. Give us a thumbs up. If you're here to train, this is Zeton, Mothership, PvP training. Space Raider style, yeah. Welcome to the Defender. This is D's Defender. Yeah. The last line of defense, folks. Oh, there they are. Come on over. If you're here to train, give us a thumbs up. Oh, you blew it. You blew your burn. 
You gotta check your burn. It takes a solid burn to get on the ship. That's the cargo bay entrance right there. If you don't mind losing your rads, go for it. Otherwise, yeah, you gotta burn your way up to the top of the ship and use the airlock entrance. That's right, we got an airlock on the back of the ship. But you gotta make it there first. And I gotta get my drone camera under control, D. It's getting crazy here. I don't know what's going on. All right, where'd they go? We lost them, D. Scan the area. Get on those scanners, D. Come on. I don't see anything, D. Wait, is that them? Yeah, they're there in the distance. There you go. Yeah, burn your way up to the airlock. All right. If you can make it. If not, hop onto the little boat. If you're here to buy our overpriced wares, just be aware. They're overpriced. Come on. We're Space Raiders. It's part of the theme. Our prices are out of this world. They're in a galactic planetary. So go on. Get your burn on. And get on to the top of the ship there. If not, hop in the little boat. And then it's just a 90 degree burn. Oh, we lost him, D. We lost him. All right. Let's see if he's uh, is he fast traveling to the ship. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Gatling gun. Gatling gun vesty. Gatling gun vesty. Are you here to train? Are you here to buy? If you're here to buy, head to the bridge. If you're here to train, head back down to the little boat. But it takes two to tango, Gatling gun vesty. That's right. You need another Space Raider trainee for this to work. So either wait for one to show up or go and find one. Yeah. You think of this pose? Yeah, this is my ski pose. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Ski pose style. Yeah. Been a raider since the ski resort days. Since the sunny top days. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I like this ski pose. Yeah, folks. Yeah. My drone cam is all over the place. I apologize for that. All of my interdimensional lurkers. Getting a little crazy. Not to worry. Unfortunately, we do not have... Yeah. It looks like... Gatling Gun Vesti is not here to train. They're here to buy. So enjoy those overpriced wares and make a donation to the Space Raiders today. We appreciate it. This is, after all, a Zeton Junker class gunship. And it takes a lot of junk to keep her afloat. And thus, a lot of caps. So yeah, we appreciate your donations. And we appreciate your purchases of our overpriced wares. All right. All right, folks. Well, unfortunately, we're 20 minutes in, and we don't have any Space Raider trainees yet. So guess what? We're going to change it up. All right. It's getting a little bit too dull, a little bit too boring, a little bit too much like the Wasteland. But like I said, you got to lower those expectations, folks. Whenever you lower your expectations in the Wasteland, you'll never be disappointed. Yeah! Alright, instead of this wing though, let's head over to this one. Alright, got a view of the boat. Looks pretty good. It's eating robot dancing time. Yeah! So there's our view of the boat. Keep those fingers crossed. And hopefully, we get a view of the bridge here too. There we go. Hopefully, we'll have some Space Raider trainees before the hour's out. All right, folks, any questions, hit up the captain directly in the chat on Twitch. And if not, I'll be back as soon as we get some Space Raider trainees. All right. All right, all right, to all of our interdimensional lurkers, we appreciate that lurk. We appreciate that chill. Unfortunately, no Space Raider trainees yet. I'm gonna get off the dancing for a moment. We're gonna change it up. Here we go. Alright. You know what? We're gonna change it up quite a bit for you folks. Hold on, we're going back in. Show you a little, uh... little secret here of the Defender. She's got a secret entrance to the bridge, folks. Yeah! Secret entrance to the bridge. Here we go. And secret exit, for that matter. Make sure the door closes. All right, D, here we go. Here it is. The emergency entrance and exit. 
Yeah! Boom! There we go, folks. I'll tell you what. Take us out for the final 30 minutes. Here we go. Leave some room for the Space Raider trainee. Not dancing back on. All right. On the little boat. Yeah! There we go. There we go, folks. So keep those fingers crossed. And hopefully, so you can get a better view. Well, not really. All right. Get a view of the ship there. Yep. The entrance. There we go. Keep your fingers crossed, folks. That's our Zetan Super Soldier emitter there. You see the flashy light? Yeah. The final stage. That's the one that transports or spawns, if you will, our Zetan Super Soldiers. Yeah. Anywhere underneath the ship or anywhere on the ship. Just in case those Zetan Super Soldiers show up, we've got our own. We're fighting fire with fire, folks. Yeah. That's what it's all about. So anywho, we're waiting on Space Raider trainees. Keep your fingers crossed. And if you see any, shout it out in the chat on Twitch. And any questions, hit us up in the chat on Twitch as well. And if not, enjoy the lurk and enjoy the cheer. And D, keep an eye on those scanners, D. Big Baby Dingus, keep an eye on those mycelium levels. And all right, the captain's keeping an eye on his scanners too, folks. Keep those fingers crossed and lower those expectations. And you'll never be disappointed in the wasteland. Yeah! And we'll be back, hopefully, hopefully, folks, with, the, with some Space Raider trainees. There we go. All right. The scanners, D. What happened to the scanners, D? It looks like we got somebody, D. Oh, no. Am I seeing things, D? We do! Are you here for Storm the Ship Sundays, by any chance? If you're here to train, give us a thumbs up! Mining hat! Uh, camouflage mask? Mining hat camouflage mask! Are you here to train? If you're here to train, give us a thumbs up! Anyone? Is anyone there? Are you a ghost? Are you a ghost, mining hat? Camouflage mask. If you're a ghost, give us a thumbs up. He's not sure, folks. He might be a ghost. You never know. If you hit a train, give us a thumbs up. This is uh, Storm the Ship Sundays, after all. Yeah, Space Raider, Zeton, PvP training. There we go. We still know what we're doing here, folks. All right. If you hit a train, give us a thumbs up. If you hit a shop, well. You're gonna need a jetpack to get on the ship. That's just the way it works. We're space raiders after all. Yeah, goes along with the theme. Plus, we gotta keep it safe. The Zetans are headed back this winter. We need all the space raiders we can get to defeat them. That also means no staircases onto the ship. You're gonna need a jetpack. You're gonna need a 90 degree burn off the little boat here to get into the cargo bay entrance. Either that, or it's a straight burn out of the water to the top of the ship. And we got an airlock on the back of the ship for you. Direct access right to the bridge. Yeah! But are you here to train? If you're here to train, punch each other in the face. And we'll begin. If you're not here to train, if you're here to, to shop, we have overpriced wares on the bridge. You gotta make it to the bridge, though. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Harry Face. Harry Face, are you here to train? Are you here to train, Harry Face? Are you here to shop? If you're here to shop, well, the joke's on you, because our prices are out of this world. They're astronomical, interplanetary, we're space raiders, and it goes with a the theme. Yeah! But come on, we only got seven minutes left. We'll storm the ship Sundays. Yeah, every Sunday. Zeton, PvP, mothership training. If you're here to train, we need you to punch each other in the face. You punch each other in the face, you got 30 seconds to find cover away from the ship. 30 seconds later, the captain says begin. First one to storm the ship and hold the bridge for two minutes wins. And you're a winner for Winner Mondays every Monday. Yeah, new winner videos every Monday on YouTube. Space Raider reviews. Like and subscribe today because the Zetans are coming back this winter. And we need all the Space Raiders we can get to defeat them. Yeah, so spread the word. And if you're here to train, 
then punch each other in the face, and let's begin. And if not, you're gonna need a jetpack to get on the bridge. That's just the way it is. Yeah, security first. Security first. Against the Zedans. Yeah. So come on, hairy face. What you got, hairy face? You got any PvP game there, hairy face? If you do, punch this other gentleman in the face, and let's begin. Yeah. Come on. What you got? What you got, Croc Backpack? What you got? Oh, he's got nothing but love. Croc Backpack's got nothing but love. All right. Well, if you hit a train, start punching each other in the face. And if not, if you hit a shop, you're going to need a jetpack. Yeah. Alright, looks like they're thinking about it, folks. They're thinking about it. But guess what? We got five minutes left. So the captain here is gonna have to get ready. Gonna have to get ready, folks. Alright. Let's get up on the wing. We'll keep an eye on him. Alright. If you're gonna train, punch each other in the face. Otherwise, we're out of here in less than five minutes, folks. We're going interdimensional. That's right. We're headed to an audio dimension. And you know how it works. Anytime you go interdimensional, you translate into that dimension. That means you got to abide by their laws of physics and all the rules of that dimension. So, for example, when we're going into this audio dimension, yeah, we're going to be completely formless. Aside from the, uh, the wavelength. We're going to be audio wavelengths. Yeah, it's always a good time in the audio dimension. So, all right, gentlemen on the boat down there. If you're gonna hit, if you're gonna train, if you hit a train, we need you to punch each other in the face to let the captain know you're ready. And after that, you got 30 seconds to find cover away from the ship. So the 30 seconds, I'll let you know to begin. And the first one to storm the ship and hold it for two minutes wins. So let the captain know you got less than four minutes now. All right, D, fire up that interdimensional drive, D. We're out of here in less than four minutes, big baby dingus. I told you, Big Baby Dingus, check on those mycelium levels. You're on shroom control. Come on. Check on the mycelium levels there. Yeah. All right. D, get them dialed in. Little Baby Dinguses, get those destinations dialed in. Now, bot, do your thing now, bot. All right. All right, gentlemen in the little boat. Make up your minds, because we're out of here in less than three minutes. I'm headed inside the ship. Here I go. Taking the airlock, D. Captain's entrance, so yeah. There we go. Alright, D, you got us dialed into that audio dimension? I'm ready to go formless. Ready to go pure wavelength. Oh yeah, get this door open. That door closed. Come on, door. This door's been glitchy all day today, D. I don't know what's going on. Alright. Well, D's got us all dialed in, folks. I'm gonna take a seat. Oh, the captain does. All right, there we go. Everything's a little sketchy these days, D. I tell you. It's the wasteland, folks. What are you going to do? Come on. Take it all with a grain of salt. Like I said, Space Raider style. As long as you lower your expectations, you're never disappointed in the wasteland. Whatever the wasteland throws at you, yeah, you're always pleasantly surprised. But all right, folks. This time next week, We'll be back on the Liberator, so check out our ship and crew reviews for more details and to try and find out the location of the Liberator. Because, yeah, we're changing it up, D. We're sending this one to, uh, to an undisclosed location, let's just say. Keep her safe from the Zetans. Yeah, Big Baby Dingus. Keep an eye on the Defender for us. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, Navbot. You got the course plotted. You got that audio dimension laid in. It's looking good. I just verified it on the captain's own scanners. Big Baby Dingus is ready. We got less than one minute. Here we go, folks. Look sharp. Look sharp, D. All right. If those gentlemen are still down there in the little boat, well, get ready, gentlemen, because we are out of here in less than one minute. But Space Raider Reviews on YouTube. Go check us out now and find out more. Find out what you're missing. Oh, yeah. Spread the word. The Zedans are coming back this winter. We need all the help we can get to defeat them. 
So spread the word. Near and far, far and wide. Oh, yeah. All right, D. Here we go. Coming up on 30 seconds, D. Look sharp. Look sharp, little baby dinguses. Oh, yeah. Lock, lock down that fire control. Safety's on. Safety's on all the cannons. All right. Here we go, folks. Less than 20 seconds. Get ready. D, where are you at, D? You might want to get back in position, D. We're almost out of here. All right, folks. We'll see you next Sunday. Every Sunday for Stand Up Sundays and Storm the Ship Sundays. Yeah. Space Raider Reviews on YouTube. And we'll catch you next time. Yeah, let's hit it, D. Let's go. Like and subscribe now so you don't upset the captain. Fallout 76 is Captain Space Raider Reviews.